Houston, say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Hey there folks, welcome ye all to part 21 of Divinity Original Sin on the Xbox One X. And I have actually reloaded the save that I did before I went looting around this area after the fight. So we did the fight, then I saved it. Did all the searching around and the nailing of the boots and all that on camera and leveled up the two chaps that we could. Uh, but I decided to reload it just before I'd done all of that because I decided to change my mind as to what people were doing. I also found things that I'd missed. Um, Audasta's wearing a robe that we picked up off of Gawain instead of... Um, or Gwyn. As opposed to Loza who was wearing it. And I found a new robe for... Loza. Which was on Mage Daywin or something. I wrote her name down, actually. Uh, the Magister that uh, we killed was the main Magister in the area. Oh, that Magister was Mantle. It uh, doesn't have a name on it, does it? But it has 10% of melee damage as water damage reflected to the enemies, which is quite cool. It was a level 4 as well, higher armour. More suited to her. And some gloves as well to go with it. Plus 2% critical chance, which is level 4 as well with better armor. Still don't have a better hat for her, but never mind. And I don't know why that hat makes it look like she's bold, but <laughs> she isn't. And I did the boot nailing, which you can do from the menu, by the way. And you just... Uh, I don't know whether maybe I've picked something up that allows us to do it now, but I couldn't do it before. But every character could do their own boots without taking them off. So, I think what, what we're going to do is we're going to do the level ups again now. So, we're going to stick with the Dwarf. He's not ready to level up yet. But we're going to stick with him becoming the uh, Polymorph. So, hopefully he'll get that on, in this level maybe. In, in this episode maybe. If he can get his level up. He's not far away from his level up. And we don't want to give anything more to Loza. Who was a, she was an option for the Aerothurge stuff. But... She, I want her to be a summoner, and and because she's bringing the totems and what have you into the fight all the time, I don't want to start wasting points elsewhere. I want to get her summoning up, so we're going to leave her as is. So we're looking at, I'm going to make our elf an arrow thurge person. So that's why I've put Gawain's robe on him because it gives him one arrow thurge. So at the moment, I could get away with not investing the point in Arrow Thurge and investing it in Huntsman. Which will unlock Huntsman level 2 stuff for him. However, we can't actually buy any of that till we get to the next area because I killed the person that sells those things. So there is a little bit of an argument that says I could put a point in there. I'm not sure, actually, if some of those... Let's have a look. I can't remember if some of those things were level 2. They must have been, surely. Aerothurge 1, yeah, Aerothurge 2. So we, we if we invest it, we can use all the Aerothurge stuff. Obviously, his intelligence isn't that high, bless him. But, uh, so, there's two things we need to do. We need to unlock some slots. And we're going to give him the Aerothurge. We're going to... Oh, there's something else as well. I've decided to make him the thievery person. So we're going to give him a thievery here. Because I needed to put different gloves on Loza. So, oh, they're both capable of doing it anyway. But um, we'll make him... He's the one that searches all the time as well, so... Okay, and I'm going to put two points into memory. Because we need more slots for the stuff he's about to learn. And it's a slot per point. So we need to start building that up. It's probably... It might be a little bit early for doing this with this guy. But while we're here and we've picked up these books, we might as well commit to it and get on with it. And we picked up the robe to go with Arrow Thurge as well, so, you know. Woohoo! Okay, right, decision made. And then on to our Red Prince. So... I'm now actually forgetting what I was going to do with him. And we're going to keep going with his... 
Yeah, I mean, I, I had the option of possibly making him the polymorph character, but I decided not to. Uh, we need to keep him going with a beast. Geomancer's the Earth stuff, isn't it? Um, next level four, water attacks deal 20% more damage, vitality healed. 20% plus 20%. Yeah, it's a shout, isn't it? Nah, let's keep his physical damage going up. Yeah, we'll stick with what we did for him pretty much. Bartering. I think we're going to unlock memory slots for these guys as well. Because we are going to get more moves for them. And I don't want to get them left behind. Uh, Hydrophysis 3. Warfare 3. I'm assuming he's going to get some warfare ones that are a bit more uber as well. Get his damage up. I think we're good to go, people. Okay, and we will now... So he should now have, let's have a look. Yeah, we go. We've got four extra slots now. To be fair, there's a couple of things I'm not using on this guy. Um, although I'm starting to use that more. Elemental arrows. First aid we use all the time. Uh, well, to be fair, all of it can be used, can't it? So we'll have to pick and choose what we fire on him. I'm glad I did that, though. It was getting really tight for moves, wasn't it? Right, let's get this learnt. Uh, dazing bolt. Actually, I tell you what, let's do it in order of so teleportation. That's a level. Oh, that's Aerothurge too. Yeah. So he gets teleport, and he gets shocking touch, which is that was an Aerothurge one, wasn't it? Yeah. So these are ones that are close to him. Teleport and uh, that's a level two. That's an area of effect one, which would be good for him. Uncanny evasion, nice. As it happens, we're just going to be one over, aren't we? Might get rid of uh, favorable wind. Control the forces of nature, increasing the movement speed of all your allies by 1.5 as long as your allies stay within 10 meters. There's a chance they might not stay within 10 meters, to be fair, if he's a distance character. So we'll do that one last and we'll maybe leave that one off. Dazing Bolt's definitely going to get used. And Uncanny Evasion. Uh, target characters dodging by increase by 90% and movement speed is increased by 20%. Yeah. Definitely, and then we'll learn that one last. Okay, we have a decision, people. Might have been the wrong one, but hey-ho. <laughs> I'm nothing if not consistent, people. Right, he's turned himself into a bit of an arrow mage. Uh, could probably do with sorting out this here. Flesh Sacrifice is another one that I'm just not using all the time, and... King Rat keeps telling me to use the hell out of the damn thing. So, let's put a skill in here. Yeah, there you go. So, we've only got four slotted. So, we'll have teleport in there. We'll have... Uh... I think it's Shocking Touch. It's left out, even though I did it in... Oh, no, there it is. Shocking Touch in there. We'll have... The Shocking Touch. And I go crazy with desire. Uh, Uncanny Evasion, or... In fact, we'll go with... Oh, uh, yeah, do that. Uncanny Evasion... There's no point in that being there at the minute. Can't bloody use it. Yep, 
yeah, and the big move last. Dome of protection. Yeah, we'll put it down there. Just if it does become alive, then we'll notice it, won't we? Okay, well, I think that'll do for him for now. Excellent. He's still shy of a few spells, but we'll get that sorted out soon enough. Right, we're good to go. Because uh, he was the one that... I mean, look at that. That's awesome. He's got way more he can do in battle now. The thing was, the minute somebody got close to him as well, he was in trouble. So having the teleport is going to really help him there. The shocking touch is going to help him. So, and the area of effect one, so he can do other things other than just hit people with, because I was running out of area of effect, Ar arrows to be fair. Right, where do we go next people? Right, let's save that. Right, I've not heard any nice music from this game for a while. Where's all the beautiful music gone? Well, we have an option of going back underneath everything, or we have the option of... But we're going to leave that area so we clear out everything through here. Yeah, I'm not actually convinced that we can... That was the big fight we did yesterday. So that's all sorted. Yeah, main floor. Right, let's overwrite the save we just did and let's see where this takes us. Here goes nothing. Yeah, here we go. So this is where... Yeah, that's right. That's where we came up from the down down below. That's the boat up ahead. So that's the other way out. I'm sure we found a fight somewhere in here. Flenza. Oh yeah, Flenza. Right, should we take Mr. Flenza on then? See if we do better this time. Now that we've got our summoner and everything. Flenza rematch! Right, hang on. Did I not split everybody? Oh, well, easy, easy, easy. Did I not split everybody up? Silent monk. You aren't tired of my stories, are you? Can you even. Yeah, there he is. Uh, blimey, a lot's happened since we were in here last. Why does this feel different? I, I feel like he wasn't in that position last time. I feel like everything seemed to happen down here, but I could be wrong. Oh, but I've told you about that many times before, haven't I? Silly. Right, I tell you what, let's, uh... don't want everybody running in together so let's let's have the big guy running although the dwarf's a bigger shout because he can't do anything from distance can he but he's just not got the same standing power as uh His bar is really annoying me at the minute. <laughs> Everything is all over the shop.
Why do I feel like I've done this before? Why is that still there? Alright, well he can always teleport someone away, can't he? Here we go. Halfling. He reaches out and gently squeezes your arm. Calm down, you. Uh, stare him down. So exquisitely firm. You halflings are such a marvel. So strong and yet... Still delicate. <laughs> I like how it's sort of changed the the narrative because he's a dwarf. Please come in. Oh, do make yourself at home, won't you? Uh, barbarian, tell him to leave you be or you'll tear his spuds off and gag him with them. <laughs> Is that a promise, darling? <laughs> All right. Come. Here we go. Blimey, I shot straight off the bat. As it happens, can I get my blood arrows? Yeah, here we go. Nice. How long does that last for then? Two turns. Nice. Oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> what an absolute bag of crock and shite is that. I think the whole last Fresno fight, he never missed once. And the first shot he takes this time, misses. What's that all about? Horse shite. That's what that's about. Right, here we go. Let's use one of his target characters. Dodging is increased by blah. Right, let's do it. Nice, good, good reach on it as well. Right, so the trick to this fight I am hearing is that we've got to try and take Flesner out as quick as we can. Flenza, sorry. Can't say this guy's name for the love of life of me. I mean, we could teleport him. Uh, no, let's not do that. Uh, one move, really. Resisted by magic armor, so there's no point in doing that just now, because it will... It's full. Try and get one of his armors down, Sav it. Oh, nice. Two shots in. I knew we'd go for those two. Backstab. Well, here we go, you see. Uh, let's get the old totems out. Right, hang on a minute. Let's have a think about this because where's everything else? I've got somebody going for a bit down there. Let's try and get it in a central point where it's going to do harm to folk that come near us. It's a guy up there. If I put it here, it might hit her and hit that guy at the back. In fact, what are you doing, Steve? Do your bloody conjure incarnate first. 
let's have a blood one and let's have him right next to us. In fact, let's have it right behind this badger here. Mosquito Swarm. Um, oh, actually, I've just realised that I should have not bothered putting the bloody... <laughs> I should have kept him as a bloody physical, because... Um, his physical... Uh, his uh, armour was down on that front. Oh, oh, it still seems to be working. Right, he's not got much left in him as it happens, so... Gonna get... I'm gonna get hit if I move, so... We could teleport him, but he happens to be in a good position for getting it. Well, actually he's not, is he? He's alright for the little fella, but nobody else. Let's teleport him. In fact, let's teleport him right in front of the two others that can slap him about. do nicely and it damaged him gave one action point immediately and a 10% damage boost for two turns All oh, right. Why? Why did it let me point that then? If it's only me, I can put it on. Oh, anyway, never mind. Oh, Jesus Christ! He is nearly down. Nice, 1600, thank you. Right, well, actually, you know what I've never done? I've never done a mid-fight mid save kind of thing, so let's, uh, let's go for that. Right, we are on, still on Dwarf, here we are. Right, let's get a bit of this action going then. What's he got on him? Yeah, let's not waste that for now. Has he got enough to go and hit someone? I don't know. I might as well just hang on to the action points because they're too bloody far away. Like, I'm going to run out into danger, aren't I? Mind you, it breaks the fight up, I suppose. Can't reach him anyway, I don't think. No. Nah, I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it. Let them come to us. Use up all their points. And it gives me extra next turn, or it should. 
Well, I've got me nail boots on. Just out of reach, aren't they, the beggars? Damn it! Can't bloody reach anyone. And these guys don't have distance moves. Okay, that takes one turn, so let's... Haha! <laughs> Can't slip me over. I've got something on me though, haven't I? There must be a way of me seeing. I know someone might have mentioned this to me before, but like the little icons on the left, I know what some of them mean, but I don't know what some of the others mean. Must be a way of seeing it in uh... I know you can see it in the journal, but it'd be... It'd be better to see it on screen if I could. It's totem time! I think, uh... Yeah, definitely, because we'll get two. Uh... We'll definitely, definitely be able to hit those two from there. Possibly her down at the bottom. Bit of encourage, I think. Da -ba -ba -da. I don't think I had to ha hit anybody with this. Just one of the party, I guess. Right, it's the little fella's turn, and we need to get him up the battlefield here. Right, somebody got silenced. Feck, and now look at all the stuff that's on me. There we go. These guys were a fecker. Not quite time for that one yet. Everything but silenced. <laughs> no, that does it though. Who was it though? I think it was the big man, wasn't it? Might have been both of them actually. It's a bit of a waste, though, for the healing. Um, I don't suppose it matters that he can't use his moves. In fact, it's, I don't know if it matters on the moves or whether it's just spells or what. Soon find out. Let's use Ricochet, I think. In fact, let's pin this guy to the ground if we can. Yeah, 
I should have done that on the woman, I think, and it would have travelled through. I thought I just did it. Give over, mist, my arse. Right, it's getting time for an it's getting time for an aerial attack here. Hang on, how many of these people have still got armor? That hasn't got armor. He's got magic. In fact, they've all got magic armor. This does this work then? Is it only phys is it only physical armor that this doesn't work against? Let's find out. Let's find out. Let's go through the keyhole. Oh, Steve, what are you doing? <laughs> I keep misusing that. Never mind. Carry on. As you were. That's what I was meaning to do. He dead that one. Looks like it. Oh. Uh, I've already used shields up and stuff. I just skip the next one. Totem time. comes she's gonna be what's she doing she's not got an oh wait a minute can my totems get her up there or not got no idea feck me I didn't like that did he alright we're in fire here Yeah, a bit of a waste that one, wasn't it? She already had a full shield. Bloody brutal, those moves. Nearly got one of them down with these totems. Go on. Nice. Oh, fuck off. What a nonsense that is. Nothing winds me up more, people. <laughs> the feck. Can I actually get a run through on two of these? Probably not. They're not in a line, are they? <laughs> Told him time. Let's have it. Get another one in there. Electrify!
<laughs> nice. I fucking love that move. <laughs> so much, I have to swear. Excellent. He down. Ooh, feeling good now, guys. It's all coming together. Your time has come, my dear. Mosquitoes. Uh... <laughs> the feck was that all about? Uh, I think everybody's okay, really. Let's just get some shots off, I think. <laughs> it's nearly over. For God's sake, man. I thought I'd put extra evasion and stuff on you. It's supposed to be slick and fast, dude. Well, I don't know if I can actually hit her from here. Target is too far. <laughs> don't think that was part of the plan. Is she dead? No, she's not dead. Okay, fine. Come on, little fella. You go and do it. You might get electrified doing this, but never mind. Oh. Woohoo! There we go, people. That's what we're talking about. Oh, how did he not get a level up in that? Actually, I'm loving the moves I've given to uh, Odasta. Right, let's have a look at... Well, in fact, let's have a save first. Oh, the face ripper! You get that for... Um... Oh, it's Fane. <laughs> it was Fane that wanted that. Uh, Golem key. Dagger. Yeah. Ooh, resurrection scroll. Ooh, I've not seen one of them circa, since circa 1999. Yeah, I have a feeling it might be one of those rooms where there's only one person who's got anything on them. Ah, here's a thing we might do this. Oh, hello. Statue of Lucian. What's that going to do? Are you watching this? Okay. Thirty three shiny gold.
Whoa, who's this? You again, mister. Hey, Trice. Down here. No, I'll like set you free. A bad man found me on the beach and brought me here. But I slipped away as soon as we got here. I just want to get out. The, the noise is out there. Oh, well, bloody Flenza, man. He was a bloody nightmare, wasn't he? Get out. I just want to go to the beach and play with my shells again. But that grate is too heavy for me. Uh, that grate is too heavy for me. Uh, oh, hello. Why couldn't we help the lad out then? You've got a destroyer, is that what it is? Oh, he's gone. There we go. Must have helped him by using it. Okay, I've only just... Well, we've come back in because I'm not sure what we might have missed. And plus, we've got the rest of the building to take care of. Someone's... Well, I think Jason said to me, fight all the silent monks in the top stairwell as well. Because it's all experience and gad and stuff. Holy hellhounds, those dogs sound out for blood. Yeah, we could fight the dogs as well. XP, good point. Well, we should have two lockpicks, shouldn't we, now? Nice. Oh, hello. Ooh, this might be nice for... What's face? Oh, yeah. Need level one lore master. Okay. Soothing cold. That's for somebody with hydrophysis. I uh, don't know if she's got that as it happens. Check that. Ooh, gloves for her as well. Plus two initiative. Although why didn't just give them to give them to her straight out of the chest? I've got no idea. Now who's got Lawmaster? Can't remember. And where is it, even? <laughs> there it is. Right, well, I've got one. She's got one. He's got none. He's got none, so... Me, I guess. Could do with something on Lawmaster, couldn't we? What are you doing, Stephen? Identify. Very nice. Right, I'm going to give her that because hers isn't overly great, to be fair. It's an epic weapon, that as well. Could have done a multi thing there. I know, I know. Oh, while we're here, I think 
going to eat these bits because you get stuff from them. You had a taste for wine and ale, as well as a variety of other sensual pleasures. Life is a coffer replete with countless delights. Get rid of all the body parts. Oh, hello. Hang on, we had this as well. What was that? That oh, was the face ripper. Procure a ripped off face that can be used for shape shifting. Blows up your target. Grizzly device used for removing intact faces from suitable corpses. Alright, can you actually equip it then? You cover your face with your hands. You've just heard the news. The elven homelands have been destroyed by death fog. It was your order who did it. What? Can this be? You are a man, a human man. They called you a paladin for most of your life. As the blade slices through your neck, a single name echoes through your mind. Ahu. Hey, Ahu, from the first one. Got the body parts all done then. Oh, we've got a rune there. Should check and see if we've got anything that can take that. Doesn't look like the face ripper can uh, be equipped, is it? Let's get the new wand on Loza, though. Yes. Plus one intelligence as well. 100% chance to ignite surfaces creates a one meter fire surface when targeting terrain. Excellent. That's bloody awesome. Kiss of death. <laughs> nice. Check that out. <laughs> Sweet. Plus two initiative on the mage gloves. No, mage sandals, sorry. Which we can't see because we've now got this massive gown on. She's she's pretty awesome now, isn't she? She's got some good shiz going down, people. He's still on level two gloves. It's because he's got tele teleportation on him. God damn it. This has happened before. The, the right click on the stick stops working. And you can't do multiple selects. I have no idea why. So that's a level 4 chess piece as well. Is that... Anyway, let's move on. Uh, well, we're at 50 minutes. We could fight the dogs, I suppose. Okay. <laughs> it was a good start, wasn't it? Uh, didn't seem to get that reaction from this way around, did we? Maybe it was because we hadn't... No, I don't know. Oh Christ! How can I? Oh, they've got armor, haven't they? Yeah. Uh... 
Just use my bow, I think. How have they got bloody rockets on their backs? What's that all about? Yeah, I think we're stuck here because we're not going to get through this. Oh, we can. Hang on. Gonna get bit on his way past though, isn't he? Good grief. It's a bit of a tricky one. That shouldn't have happened because the little red thing wasn't on. Well, that worked all right. Hey, how am I back to him again? thought I started with him. What else we got? Right, let's have a bit of uncanny evasion for the big man. Got to take a bit of, oh hang on, a bit of blood, blood arrows maybe? Fuck's sake. How on earth have these two not had a shot yet? Why are they not in the fight? What the hell's that all about? Shouldn't have happened, should it? Fucking hell, they get to three shots now on top of me. Flame on, I think. See if we can get a bit of. Uh... Hang on, hang on, hang on. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Bloody fire. That costs one. That costs two. Hmm. This might actually be the one time that I put a totem down first. I need some bloody help with these... These guys. Actually, if I put it at the door, could they not be able to get in, would they? Block them as well. The hell is this? Oh, it's because I've not thingied him.
Well, uh, we could do a teleport into the fire. Actually, I can't hit any of those, can I? Not in sight. He did. Let's give our uh, elfish character a little bit of healing. Sexual healing. I still got full armor, honey. Ooh. He did. Right, that only leaves one, I think, isn't it? Have some distant shots, my little furry friend. <laughs> There's still one left. Oh, yeah, he's behind me. Um... Actually, I must remember that he's got uh, these scrolls on him. An eyeball, nice. Can hear another dog somewhere. Did you expect a meat? The hell was that? What? <laughs> Did not want to pick up a wooden box. I thought I was searching it. Did you expect a needle? All oh, right, I see. As the oh hello, there's a chest up there. We need someone with the teleportation ability.
It's the dwarf. Oh shit, I didn't check it, did I? God damn it. Never mind, work. Gold and a shiny dagger, which no one's going to use. I'll tell you what, I've just seen there. Health potion up there, look. Flenser's Playground. I don't know where we just were. I love how these monks are just standing there. <laughs> Let me slaughter everything in sight. Let the dog out, I think. There seems to be a key on there, though, doesn't there? Yep. Elaborate cage key. Come on now, an empty cupboard. What? Might be worth something, you never know. Crossbow. Resurrection scroll. Woo -woo. Now you better not attack me. The dog's tail wags frantically. Yay. Suddenly, it grows very still and starts to growl. It inches towards you, teeth bared, as though ready to bite, when it suddenly stops. Its tail starts to wag again. Suddenly, mm. it lunges. Oh, for God's sake. Try to help you, and you just... Cannot use the ball. Have, have I still got the ball? I guess a fight is a fight, is it? Oh. What happened there? <laughs> Did I just eat it or something? Oh, look, there's the mask. I feel bad now. It's called Birdie, it's even got a name.
Minus one constitution. Heals 15%. Set deceased. Oh, so set diseased for two turns. Just that chance. Well, I don't know if there was something better I could have done with the dog there, but never mind, eh? Story of my life, people. Think we're gonna have to visit a shop again soon. Sell all this stuff. God damn it. The only way I fixed this problem with the right stick multi select like last time was reloading the whole game. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Oh, actually, that's a good point, actually. I made her the bookkeeper, but anyway. Uh, you can sell those. Check out the crossbow and these gloves, I think. And so it seems to be with crossbows, you lose you lose the movement. Fifteen to sixteen, it's more physical damage, isn't it? Level four. Set slowed for two turns. Chance twenty percent chance to succeed plus five percent accuracy. It's not bad. Wow, that's a big one. Right, I'll give it a whirl. Yeah, well, yeah. Oh, they're finesse gloves. Right. Yeah, well, I've got my thievery gloves on, though, so I don't want to use them. Well, I think, yeah, I think we can't use them then, if that's the case. Right, well, I think that'll do for this part, people. I'm pretty sure there's other areas inside here to do. We've got all these guys to fight in this hallway, which I think we can do at the beginning of part 22. Of which I will record probably pretty much straight after this. It has been an honour and a privilege serving for you once again in Divinity Original Sin 2 on the Xbox One X. And I'll catch you in part 22, folks. Take it easy. Bye.